What is up, party peeps? I am Super Sergeant McDaniel. I'm glad you've joined me on my tutorial. I have a feeling you came here because you're wondering, how do I put on my freaking uniform, dude? I got my like uniform inspection tomorrow, yo. And I have no idea how in the world to even do it. Well, I'm gonna help you out. I got three simple steps towards improving your, your, your inspection score. Hopefully even getting you a 100, but we all know that's impossible for a uniform inspection. So, let's go. You may be wondering, Josh, what kind of uniform should I wear for the inspection? My, 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 my squad leader told me the uniform was a class A. Oh my gosh, kid, you are retarded, but I'll help you out. This is a class B uniform. It's B because it's black. Remember that, because that is very important. If someone tells you wear a class B uniform, wear the black. This is black. Some people will tell you it's dark blue, but they're Wrong. It's black, okay? It's also black. If they tell you to wear it with awards, that means don't wear anything except for the base black. Now, I know that might sound counterintuitive, but it says with, that must be added. But you're wrong. You see, if with means with, it's like, it's pronounced differently, and they usually take, take out the D. But it means with. With, meaning you want more width in the thing, you get what I'm saying? With a D, as in you're getting ready to be awarded. Now, if they don't ask for with awards, then you'll just have awards such as these. Now, Josh, what might be this, you're asking? Well, this is a class gray, but Jared C doesn't like the name of that. So they call it a class A. A class A is very important. <coughs> a class A is very important because this is what you're going to wear most of the time. Now. It's likely you're gonna be wearing this like half a million of the time So notice something different about this. It's got those awards now notice this name tag. This is actually incorrect uh, You never wear your name tag and in this case you always wear your name tag upside down As I will show you in a tutorial video on how to set it up in a future video But for now, I want you to rec I want you to be able to recognize what type of uniform and if someone is wearing it correctly This is a class gray or class a as people call it, because A rhymes with gray. I'm chosen correctly because this is for a gag. I mean, for like, I was gonna do like a little gag with my friends and like completely mess up the uniform, but I would never do that in a video with you guys. So don't worry. Anyways, the important thing about this is you gotta more imagine the main things. And we'll be talking about what each thing is on the uniform. Let's start off with the regular uniform. What is this? Now, some people might tell you it's a collar, but that's wrong. And JRTC, we're not dogs, we're wolves, which is why this, is a stylish necklace. So you can call anything connected to this part a necklace oh, for what we call, in JRTC, the Netflix. I mean the Netflix. I mean the necklace. Another important part of the uniform is this. You can see it's hanging off, but usually it's, um, yeah, it's always hanging off. This part of the uniform, which is called the slash, will always be disconnected. Never connected, ever. It should never be connected you should never trust the connection. Remember, don't trust the connection. The connection is a lie. You'll notice more about this, but this right here, this is nothing. That you're, you're dumb. This, this doesn't mean anything. This part of the uniform is called... You might be asking, Sar Super Sergeant, why is it called the keys? And also, that's Super Sir to you. Sar Sar Sergeants are always called Sirs. Do never call them Sergeants. Ever. We'll, we'll go over that in a different video too. That's, that's a completely different tutorial for a completely different day. The keys are the most important part, which is why they're called the keys. These go in the center of your uniform at all times. Again, gag right now, but just for the most part, you need to understand that these are the keys. 
to take them off so you can get a better look at what the keys look like and I can explain to you more what the keys do. Each key is important for why exactly it's there. The key is never there for no reason. You always have a key and the key will be important. You will be awarded many keys, but they're not awards, they're keys. The important part of the keys we need to understand are a couple of things. First of all, yellow. Yellow stands for traces of gay in your award. For example, if you get a key with three stripes of yellow, that means your uh, work was very gay. And since we all know gays are in like very important right now in society, your gay will go all the way to the top. As you can see, this has very little yellow, and that is why it's at the bottom. It's got so few gray, the gay that it's just right at the bottom. Kind of sad, but that's the way society works nowadays, and that's the way JRJC works. Hope you understand that. That's important. All right, now, you, the may, next thing you may ask me, Super Sergeant, is, Super Sergeant, what is two yellow mean? Well, I'm going to go down. Two yellow means that you are slightly gay in how you acquired your reward. If you got two yellow lines, that's eh, okay. If you got two yellow lines, that means it was kind of gay and like you probably were about to take off your socks, but you didn't, and so you're okay. For example, I got this from taking off my clothes, but not taking off my socks. I was going to, but then Super uh, Super Mario caught me. Let's go to the next one, which is this. Now you might be asking, Josh. Why is this under the one with three? This has got four yellow stripes. It must mean super gay, but you're wrong. This actually means super straight, which is also why it has the lamp for Genie's 11 wishes. Notice how I only have three, notice how I only have three lamps. That's because you can only have three Genie wishes lamps. If you have more than three, your uniform is incorrect. If you have more than three, you've actually messed up. And if you have more than three, you need to go ask your colonel or first sergeant how long do you got more than three and if you can get demerits immediately. Now you might be asking, Josh, what are demerits? Demerits are important things that everyone wants all the time. If you ever find out that someone might possibly give you demerits, if you do something, that means you have done something exceptionally, that means you have done something exceptionally great. If you get a demerit, that means you want more demerits. If someone is planning on giving you a demerit, ask them for more. People are happy about giving out demerits, especially squad leaders. They love giving out demerits and will never ever be hesitant about it. If they are hesitant about giving you a demerit, tell them to just demote you. Demoting is kind of like promoting, but you actually go up two levels instead of one. Whenever you get promoted, you can only go up one level. Next, what is this big black thing in the middle? Now, now I might tell you that's kind of racist. But in actuality, it's not. It's actually the exact opposite of racist. Right now, races are a very important part of our society. They've always been an important part of our society. They have been from the very beginning. But I might, you, Josh, you might ask me, why would I care about anything relating to this? It's simple, my boy. It's simply simple. The main thing about this that's important is that we need to understand that everything is equal. Notice how this is the only thing unequal, because there's always going to be a little bit of inequality, which is why this key always needs to be in the middle. It shows that there's a little bit of inequality in the world, and nothing's going to change that, even JRGC. Sucks to suck. Anyways, if we go down to purple, or brown, these colors mean nothing, and they're added for awesome effect. Look how cool brown looks with this pattern, look how cool purple looks with this pattern. Now you might be asking, Josh, how do you get these keys? It's pure luck. Honestly, like you actually have to do like a you have to do like a little um like a little poker game. If you beat the colonel or first sergeant in a game of poker, ask them to play it, bet them like twenty bucks, and say, hey, fir first sergeant, colonel, do you want to go in for twenty dollars? I really I'm really looking forward to a key today. If they say yes, great. Challenge them and fight them. If they say no, that means they think you deserve a promotion, only one level, and they're gonna say. You don't deserve a promotion, which is what you want, but you want them to tell you that you don't deserve a promotion. You want them to think you deserve a demotion. That's what you want. This right here is called a triumph. You can only get one of these as you're as cool as me and a super sergeant. You'll never get one of these. However, everyone will be told they have one because they think they're as good as me, but they're not. Next, the star. The star is very important and it has three special things. The jewel, the scar, and the, 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 the wallpaper. 
Now let's go with the first thing, the scar. The scar is the star in the middle that makes you go, wow, that's cool, from real far. The scar is important because essentially it shows that you're cooler than everyone else. If you have a star, however, why? This is a scar because this is golden. If yours isn't golden, if yours is golden, that's an issue, and you need to get it checked with your first sergeant or colonel. Now, everyone else around you will most likely have golden because that's what you start out at, but you actually want to get colors such as white and red because those colors are way cooler and show you're way awesomer than all the other cadets. And that's the main thing. You want to look cool in JRGC. You don't want to look dumb and mess up your entire uniform. Anyways, this is why the jewel it's the best part. Yes, this is named after the drug because jewels are very popular in JRGC. You should always choose to go out of class to jewel whenever you possibly can. It's very important and will help your daily JRGC life. Actually, this goes on your shoulder because it's very important. Again, gag, but explain. I will explain all that later, but essentially this goes somewhere and it's important and you need it, but it just goes around. If you have one of these, it actually means you failed a class. So this one's golden, which means I failed three classes. I wasn't, I wasn't a very smart kid, I was more of a very buff kid. Have you seen these muscles? These muscles are great. Anyways, um, the next thing is the name tag. Now the name tag I stole from a kid. My name, last name is actually Mick Daniel, but I like the D on this one better and I like the college, so I chose McDaniel. Make sure you always put this upside down. Again, gag joke, but it should normally be like this. And very important. And that's simply it. There's buttons on there, stuff like that, but the, everyone knows that, you're not dumb. And I don't think you're dumb, and I think you should take everything I say, though, with 100% certainty, because it works. Next is this butte, the Class B, or the Class Black. Always tell your first sergeant colonel that you want just the tip. Because if you're having no awards for a day, or if you, or if you have with awards, you want to make sure that you have just the tip. That's what I always say, make sure you have just the tip. And look at all that width space you get when you have nothing on there. You can actually put whatever you want though in here, because you can put whatever awards or stickers or whatever you want in there. I prefer doing big cartoonish uh, Nickelodeon stickers right here, such as SpongeBob or Patrick on the left. But again, <laughs> gag, I don't even have anything on here because I haven't even made this uniform yet. This one hasn't been done with anything on it yet. The next thing you understand are these. These are, pu these are pumpkin seeds. We call them pumpkin seeds, because look at them! They look like little pumpkin seeds! Ha <laughs> That's got little birds on them. I think that was actually a mistake uh, for the manufacturer. Um, we don't actually like birds. We actually prefer um, squirrels in the JRTC. And the squirrel's the uh, national um, uh, animal of JRTC. Um, so make sure you put that on all your tests. If you say, uh, je suis squirrel, uh, squirrel, that actually means I am, uh, I am squirrel, and that will get you extra points on any quiz, summative homework you do. Well, not at all. And it might even actually possibly get you a demerit, which you want. In actuality, guys, there's a lot I talked to you about today. And I want you to understand that the most important thing about being a JRTC cadet is making sure you do things right. Make sure you listen to your fellow cadets and make sure to never, ever listen to strangers on the internet. Unless their name's Super. Colonel McDaniel. <laughs>